this morning from Travis County District Attorney Margaret Moore about her decision to drop all charges and declare the defendants in an infamous child sex abuse case innocent. That's right, Tony Plahetsky has been following this development and sat down with the DA just minutes ago. Tony, what's the latest? Well, Terry and Anna V, District Attorney Margaret Moore says she reviewed volumes of evidence in the case against Dan and Fran Keller, who spent 22 years in prison only to have their convictions overturned. Moore says that although there was debate among other prosecutors in her office, the decision to take the action she took this morning was ultimately hers. The Kellers were convicted of child sex abuse in 1992 and accused of performing satanic rituals on children at their in-home child care facility. But the case crumbled after a doctor who examined a girl for sexual abuse stepped forward years later and acknowledged that he had misdiagnosed her. The entire criminal case against the Kellers was built around his testimony. The state's highest criminal court has already overturned their convictions. That happened two years ago, and the Kellers have been free on bond since then. But the charge itself has been lingering, and Moore said after taking office in January, she had to decide what to do next. I would say that there was a very healthy discussion, uh, and I believe it centered on the, the record in the case, the remaining evidence, and the law. And uh, I I am a person who appreciates hearing all sides of an issue, um, and that was uh, afforded me by my staff. Um, but in the end, it was my decision, and I made it. Dan and Fran Keller are described to me now as quite elderly, frail, and destitute, but this is a day they have been waiting for. Today's decision will allow them to apply to receive $80,000 a year in wrongful conviction compensation. Terry and Anna B. This was wow. such a talked about case, I know, and they have spoken before about the devastation that this caused them because they served time. Right. In previous interviews, Fran Keller has talked about the harassment that she specifically received while behind bars from other inmates who she said were, were very, uh, you know, treated her quite badly while she was in prison. But we have added it up. And if the state does decide to grant them that $80,000 per year for each year served, that would total about $3.2 million. Wow. wow. You know, you'll continue to follow those developments. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks so much.